wins this season are well beyond the 104 that he threw last year. And it's a reason for he got a few extra days of rest heading into this one. But King said he feels great. The team said that I really had to learn my body. Michael Conforto goes after a high fastball and falls. So he's really learning not only how to be a healthy starter. A lot for that one year of Juan Soto as Conforto hooks it foul. And Michael King is kind of front and center. He buys into that. A lot like Xander Borgard's moving from the shortstop position. Giants to tonight. He pops this one up over the infield. Near the second base bag, it's Bogarts who makes the catch for the first down. This is Matt Chapman who struck out his first time. Lines this one to left field. That's a base hit. The Giants with a couple of base hits here in the fourth inning, which we bounces this one softly toward first. Cronenworth takes the out right on the back. Still hitting around 300 for the year. And count two balls and no strikes in a spot where a base hit. Type of power. Is the count here in his favor. Three. Got Bailey. And it's right in there. And Fitzgerald let it go by. And Fitzgerald. And that one misses for ball four. Looked at each other and I said, oh no, the fighting show tigers. It's the all-star break. Backs away from that pitch and it's one and two. Two hits and a walk of low to the bases in the fourth inning. And Bailey stays alive. Bailey battling with the bases loaded and he turns on one, hits it on the ground to second base. Bogarts has it, an easy out to end the inning. So King on eight in a row. And they the Mets, if they lose tonight, which they are against the Astros, thanks to Jordan Alvarez, who's had a couple of, of the fourth inning. Well, the Padres still have their eyes some on the National League West. Like I got to hit that ball forward. Now Bogarts hits that one forward into the gap in right center field, bounces all the way to the wall. It's extra bases for Xander Bogarts, a one-out double. The first Padre hit since Machado's home. Jackson Merrill, the center fielder, in. a rookie phenom this year. But maybe the most impressive thing about Merrill. He's done it five times since the All-Star break Boy, alone. This is elite. Two Hall of Famers on that list. As Merrill swings and misses here. Mel and two on. with Bogarts at second base. And Merrill dumps another one foul. Diddy, they love their Padres. Still three and two on Merrill. Looks like another. Man, this no. is what I mean. This is what I mean about the mid bat adjustments. You know what I mean? As Merrill is going in each time. Swing and a miss. Finally got him on the 10th pitch. Since the All Star break. Skeens has a higher war at 5.1. There's a fly ball from Agashioka to left field, and right in front of the wall is Ramos to in the inning. the plate with one leg down. He could throw that baseball, man. Trying to, trying to, and putting together some contributions. In the Doing what you can. He's a 29-year-old yeah. rookie. Yeah. Who's you know, I played nine years in the big leagues, 15 total, and it went just All like right. that. So, hot you know, there. Two and two now on McCray. We grew up. Lips this one to left field and has another hit. He's two for two. And Grant McRae right playing for the Giants. Yeah. Ray at first. Count kind of evens up one ball. One. So not necessarily a comeback sinker over the inside corner to a lefty. Ah, that's very ball. difficult to manipulate the baseball like that. Nasty pitch there to the back foot of Yastrzemski for strike. Padres toward the end of his career. Maddox. Yeah. Strike fifth here at Petco. The knowledge and athletic ability, but, you know. Padres radio broadcast with Jesse Agler. And there's strike three. Oh. Radio booth. My guy. My guy. So he proud. says it should be. Here in downtown San Diego in the gas lamp batting title something Tony Gwynn did twice in his major league career this one shot to the left field as two strikes on a rise as he lifts another one foul. But that's why for three we're... teams if he gets it done. Fly ball to right field and with some room Yastrzemski just on the line baseball to travel you got more time to hit the baseball squared up. And that was possibly Everybody. Tyler Fitzgerald. And then Machado launched a. Tease hits it hard and through. A base hit to left, his second tonight. They have a good understanding of situational hitting, and so you know, that's a mentality. Padres have got Warriors, a lot of you getting done throwing. Ball, two strikes on. 
as starters. Merrill made it as well. There's a base hit for Profar to right center. Tatis all the way to third. Profar thought about second. He'll hold up at first. And there's one of the corners and two outs. Machado very late on that pitch. It's only 10 two. overs this year. Runner goes from first. Machado with a fly ball to right. Shallow in comes Yastrzemski. Can't get it. It's a base hit. Profar and Machado. Now a strike to Cronenworth. Good communication of who's going to take the throw if Machado takes off. So this is a little new. Now Cronenworth takes ball three with Bogarts up. Bouncing ball to first, handled by Wade to end the inning. And another run for the Padres. He was willing to spend money, but this area, this packed ballpark, that was that the didn't dish. happen in Peter Seidler's lifetime. But this team I want is to have worth a parade for this city. I mean, you Hell. see these fans; they come out in passing of the great owner that was passionate about this team, passionate about the city, passionate about the dynasty community. years was '98. Ball three to Jewish might not be able to do that. That ball rocketed out toward right. Michael Conforto has gotten the Giants on the board. As that Conforto still has one of the sweetest swings in all of baseball, man. And when he gets his foot down, he's on time. He can do that more often than not. It's in the bottom of the fifth. As Chapman rolls one by the first baseman Cronenworth into right field. I think everybody understands. This is Lamont Wade Jr. taking yeah. ball. King falling behind. Two balls, one strike. ready because this might be his last batter. And you can see King not finishing. Three balls, one strike. And Wade Ooh. was fooled on the changeup. And Chapman's at first. And that throw over chases back Chapman. So there is a steal for Chapman. Mention him. And Round to third. Machado looks the runner back to second. Throws the first to retire. <laughs> Run suit for this day. One ball, two strikes on Bailey. Strikes on Bailey. And he's backed away by the high fastball on Michael hey. King. And King sweating it out as Bailey strikes out to end the inning. Best by five games. Again, Padres have the tiebreaker over the Dodgers and still some head to head matchups as Chapman shows up. My Dodgers uh, drive fit on, so that's my fault. Stay hot. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Stay hot. Yeah, good luck. Forgot where <laughs> Oh, no. Fouled off the foot of Cronenworth. Oh, no. oh, rather baseball. And now we see their, their division rivals in the Diamondbacks and the Dodgers. It's 45th. The Dodgers have gotten on the board. It's 2 to 1, Cleveland in the sixth inning. And ball two strikes. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So Jelly works a scoreless inning, keeps the Giants in it.